We're about to head off for basketing very soon. I've just got to load the birds up. Um, probably going to leave in about an hour. Been a little bit running behind this morning just because kids and everything else that's going on. Um, so I was hoping to get them out for a fly. I did this morning pick out um, the group in here that I'm going to take this weekend. Sorted through them, made sure that um, these ones are fully molted out in the primary flights. Um, there's a couple here that just probably need a week, like um, the blue bay seen yesterday. But they most likely will go next week, so in about seven days time. Our little selection, just giving them a bit of a feed now. Realistically, probably should have done it earlier. Um, I'm not really sure what you should be feeding them or how much or when before basting them. But I thought I'd give them a bit of a feed this morning um, and some fresh water there. And then they're going to have a feed, hopefully in the next hour they have a couple of drinks. And they've got a bit of water in them before they go in the basket. Um, probably about, I'd say about two hours they're going to be in the basket. So I thought um, give them a light feed with the lighter seeds. It's not super light, but enough to most likely get them through the rest of the day. I'm not sure if they feed them in there, but um, yeah. So basically, just because we're running short of time this morning, we'll have a quick look. We've got um, the black hen up there with the white flights. Her daughter's also in here as well. Um, I put in both the mealy hens. There's a mealy hen there, mealy hen there. Um, I left their brother and their sister, which is the red checker and the big mealy over there, here for this race. I think there is another hen in here that's, actually there's two more in here that are their brothers and sisters, but they're blues. So we'll get a good test with those ones. Um, we've got 83 there, pretty sure that's 83 right at the front. Um, he's going in. I was gonna put him brother in there as well, but his brother's got primary flight that just needs another week, so we'll just leave him. Uh, putting in the naughty red checker, the one that's caused us problems all the way. To see how he goes he needs to really sort of earn his keep a little bit um might just shut this for a second our little fella here's doing really well um actually healing up really well he's flying around the loft things like that too so i'm um, doing an update on him soon the only reason i'm going easy on him um because he made it back uh, and we do have a hen in this race i call her the tough hen um she actually had two broken legs before we had her in the shipping container in the in the um, little black box for a while while she's healing up and um, she's in this race so we'll watch her that actually might be her just there so we'll keep a close eye on that little hen she's super tough one of Leon Storm's daughters um, she's perfectly fine now so that's why I'm kind of thinking that um, that merely going to heal up pretty well so we're giving her a chance she might you know if she got to tell you what if she wins that tough little hen yeah she might um, Oh, I'm just surprised. Anyway, we'll continue on. We've got one of Shock's daughters in here, the little one with a little bit of pied on it. Um, there's two more actually, that brother there and um, another hen, but they've still got um, one, of, one of their primary flights still slightly coming through. So um, yeah, basically that was most of my decisions based on the ones that are best suited. We've got that little hen here, the little blue bar in between the mealy and the checker. Push, hang on, let me move these over a bit. You guys are getting a bit crazy, so we'll bring, you're just getting a bit out of there. So, um, yeah, she was the one that doesn't like flying too much. So I thought we'll get her on this short one, um, 180 kilometers. It's only about 110 kilometers further than we've been before. Um, this is our first race distance, um, but this is in the sprint series too. So it's, yeah, should be a bit easier. The other races are well ahead. They're up 250 and they'll jump to 350 or 380 soon. So. Um, I need to get all these birds moving pretty quickly. Um, so pretty much most of these birds on this side, I probably will skip the toss on Monday just because they're flights. But hopefully by next Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, their flights are through enough that you know, to the point where they are the same as the rest of their flights and they should be ready to roll, hopefully. So basically these are our 15. We've got a 15 bird limit on the sprint series. The other races, they have a um, 25 bird limit, but um, birds aren't ready for that just yet. We're a little bit behind and um, they've only just come out of COVID isolation. I have put another hen in here too that we need to watch, which is, uh, I think she's half hoven too. She's a blue bar hen, she's beautiful. But um, yeah, we'll see how the basket treats her. So mostly hens in here. I think there's probably 
two or three cocks and the rest are hens. I've got a lot of hens. And there's probably only a couple of cocks in there as well. So I've probably only got five, five or eight cocks and the rest are hens. Um, so this year we'll be predominantly flying hens. But we'll see how we go. We'll get these guys basketed up in probably about an hour, hopefully. Um, and then I'll get on the road. I just want to leave a little bit earlier so I can get some money out. So I can um, get these guys paid for and in the race. And then hopefully tomorrow, I'll let you know the lib time when they release the birds when I figure that out myself. And there's that um, cheeky little hopper. I'm gonna call him grasshopper maybe. But he's doing pretty well. He gets up there, no problem. So he's healing pretty well. Um, he can stay there for now. He just snuck in. So we'll see how we go. Um, give these guys a break, let them finish, hopefully plenty of drink. And if you've got any other ideas, what you know, this is pretty much the first time I'm doing this, so I don't really know how much I should be feeding them, if I should be feeding them, when I should be feeding them before a race, so, um, or what I should be. So put some comments down below, whatever you do. Um, I'll pick through those comments too, and maybe I'll find um, the one that I like the best, and maybe I'll try that next week as well. So, um, yeah, drop some comments down below, and um, we'll give these guys a break, and I'll be back in a second. Hopefully we'll have them in the basket ready to go. All right, it's time to get in the basket. They've had a little bit of a break now, a bit of a feed. Um, checked all their crops too. A little bit of commotion over here, but there's a little bit of water in there and stuff. Are you going for another drink? No, that's good. Just because I haven't been in the basket before, so I'm just definitely making sure they have something to eat and a bit of drink because um, I just feel like that's um, something they may struggle with the first time is getting used to the drinkers and stuff. You're not going anywhere apart from the basket, all right? That's our friendly little Vanderbilt. Oh, he's having a drink, that's good. No, I thought so. He's just been a bit funny. But like I said, make sure you do some comments down below. This is gonna be a um, more informational one. If you wanna learn something, have a look in the comments because you guys got a lot of information. And um, especially if people are sort of doing the same thing, it's helpful if they can go through and have a bit of a look at those comments too. So if you are new, trying to find some answers like myself, most likely be in the comments. There's some pretty, um, well, a lot of people got a lot of gold to share. So make sure you head down there. Let's get you guys in the basket and let's get in the car. You ready? Okay. 15 birds ready to go and all my clock and bits and pieces here ready for uh, clocking and entering these birds so all right I'll see you guys when I get back and um, hopefully I've got a bit more information for you Okay, we are back. Um, had a little bit of a problem at basketing, but I will talk about that a little bit later. Um, I do have the yellow team out flying at the moment. The food is there for them. Haven't flown these guys yet today. Probably won't. Probably just leave them in today. Um, no stress for them, really. They, they'll be getting back out again tomorrow. So waiting for these ones to come down, which shouldn't be too long. And hopefully we can have a bit more of a talk about um, what birds we entered um, and which ones... Um, yeah, we had a little bit of a problem, but we'll see you in a minute, all right? We'll wait for these birds to come down. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon, so it got pretty busy this afternoon, um, and we're about to talk why. I might just get these guys in here. I gave them a little bit of a fly, doing really well. A um, bit weird seeing only half the amount of them up flying. There's only the 15 or so here, and um, the other 15 are on the truck. I've seen these guys flying, doing really well. Um, yellow team really nice little bunch of birds we'll just keep following these as it progresses um, probably this little cock bird here in the front is probably the um, pick of the bunch there's little storm too she's in here as well with these guys um, but these all are oh there's a couple in here that are not the inbred ones but there's only one that's really sort of dragging his feet a little bit and it's this cock bird up here which is an inbred son to Leo He's just a big boy. It's a bit slow, but we'll see how he goes. I've noticed the last couple of times I've been letting him out, he's kind of just dropped off a bit and he disappears. I don't know where he goes, but uh, the rest of them are pretty good because I can count 
eight up flying, which is this little bunch here, um, which is predominantly the, the storm babies, um, the inbred ones, and there's two at the back there, which are Leo cross that um, blue bar pied hen we've got that are quite surprising. Um, we'll follow them and see how they go. They're actually really nice looking little birds. Look at that one up there. A little bit nervous because I've got this piece of paper that we're going to talk about shortly. Um, but nothing for you guys. So let's have a little bit of a look. Um, this afternoon had to rush around, had a bit, got all the birds basketed. Um, you can see the antennas in and we've also got the seals in there. It's all sealed up. Um, all that paperwork's sort of done um, for this. So we were ready to go just because I had COVID. Um, you know, no one could come here and do the seals and stuff, but it's all sorted now. And you'll see. The ETS is in there ready to go, so what I might do um, is even just put a little bit of sticky tape over these ends for now, just to um, make sure that the dew and stuff in the morning doesn't cause us any trouble, because I'm pretty sure the liberation is um, around about 8 o'clock, I'll have to double check on that. Um, just have to have a look on there and see, yeah, so I'd say we'll have a look anyway. So, let's get into it. A little bit of confusion, a little bit of mucking around today. So we took 15 birds. Um, the guy that I talked to quite a bit, he said 15 birds, sprint two, that's fine, we're going to mount to 180. Um, and then when we got there, there was a little bit of confusion in it, and they said, oh, okay, only 10 birds. So we had 10 birds entered. So I actually basketed 10 birds into the race. The other five birds are going to 180, the same distance, but they won't be marked into the race they're not marked into the race anyway so they'll be out there as well just for a little bit of training um so that's good because realistically we've only got this week and next week to get these guys moving properly otherwise we're going to be behind a bit there is a little bit of rough weather coming but when i got home i got a phone call from the same guy and he was like oh we can actually do 15 which doesn't really matter too much um, we've got 10 in the race um so i made the decision that we're going to race all hens so you can see, we've got all the hens in that butt in there basketed. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure the liberation's around about eight o'clock. Um, we'll just double check on there. But um, yeah, this is my little sheet here, which is the printout. So um, this is Bindi Bindi Sprint 2. So we'll um, be ready for tomorrow. We've got 10 birds in the race and 15 that will be coming back tomorrow. So good training for them. Um, we'll have to wait and see if these guys here are ready to do next week. Um, if we do miss a week, then yeah, we're gonna we'll figure that out. But we'll see how we go tomorrow. So basically, tomorrow morning um, there'll be a video up tomorrow. Uh, probably only have the club results in the video tomorrow. Um, the actual federation ones. That's if we do clock a bird. Um, they do come out around about Tuesday, so two three days after which is annoying, but some of the clubs here are still back in the 80s and they are basically clocking out on Mondays, Monday after nights or something stupid like that, which is uh, a little bit silly, but what can you do? That's um, what it is. There is some clubs that clock out on the night and all their results are up on the internet straight away, which would realistically be more modern, but um, you know, things take time. So I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. Make sure you put some comments down below. Um, yeah, I'll be right up bright and early. Get this all set up, ready to make sure that we're ready for the birds. So um, stay tuned. You may see a few little snippet stories throughout the day. But um, yeah, the main video will most likely be up tomorrow night. So get ready and uh, make sure you do put any comments, tips down below. Because um, yeah, it's going to be interesting in the next few weeks getting these birds moving. Hopefully we get some back.